In Creo Parametric, you can create sheet metal parts and geometry. In this video, we will take a look at three different ways of starting off a sheet metal part. First method, we'll use the new icon, which you can get to from the quick access toolbar. You can also get to it from the file menu or the keyboard shortcut control N. When I click on it, I get the new dialog box. By default, part is selected and the subtype is set to solid. You can click on the radio button for sheet metal, and then you can type in the file name and common name that you want. By default, use default template is checked. If you don't want to use your default sheet metal template, you can uncheck that and then click the OK button. And here it is listing my personal templates for sheet metal parts. If you want to use the templates provided by PTC, click on the browse button and then you can navigate on your computer to your load point for Creo Parametric. In my case, it is in my program files folder underneath PTC, and then I'll go to my version of Creo Parametric. And then within common folders, or rather common files, you have a templates folder. And then in here, we have two different default templates provided to us, one for the Imperial system and the other for the metric system. Let's click the open button and then OK. And here I am in sheet metal mode. I can start off by creating one of my different kinds of primary walls. For the second method, let's say you create a brand new part, once again using the new icon, and you forget to change the subtype from solid to sheet metal. Let's click the OK button. And here I am in standard part mode. If you want to turn this into a sheet metal part, you can go to the Operations drop-down menu and then choose Convert to Sheet Metal. When I click on that, we're going to get the dashboard for the Convert feature. There are some options in here like Driving Surface and Shell, but since this is a completely empty part, I can use the Empty Body option and then hit the check mark. And now here I am in sheet metal mode. Once again, I can start off creating my primary wall. For the third method, we're going to take a look at multi-body modeling, which became available in Creo Parametric 7.0. Here I have a part model open. If I go to my design items, I can see that there are two bodies in here already. Let's say I want to have sheet metal geometry in my part that already has solid geometry. I can start off by creating a brand new body, and then I can rename the body if I want to. Let's call this case and then click the OK button. Then I can go to the body in the design items folder and then right click on it. And from the pop up menu, here we have the option to convert to sheet metal. We're just converting that one body to sheet metal. Once again, we have the convert dashboard. We can use the empty body option and then hit the check mark. And now I have a sheet metal tab from which I can create my primary wall. We also have a model tab that we can go back to for creating standard geometry in one of our other bodies in the part. But again, we can have sheet metal and regular solid geometry in the same part model. 